Hello everyone. Welcome to IIT Frontier. My name is Arihar Nath. In this video, let's look into the step-by-step -step guide on how to send a simple message to Azure IoT Hub from Raspberry Pi. So stay tuned until the end of this video to get all the steps right. Before we dive into the content, I request you to please subscribe to the channel and like this video so that it gives us an encouragement to create more such videos. Let's get started. The first we will be following all the steps that I have already written in the GitHub. So I will be sharing this link to you. So in this uh, GitHub page, the prerequisites has been written that has to be done in the Raspberry Pi. So uh, before going to the Raspberry Pi, we have to do some things in the Azure. So first thing in the Azure is you need to have an IoT Hub. So how to create an IoT Hub has been already mentioned in my previous video. So if you haven't watched it yet, so you can click on the top right corner. After creating the IoT Hub, you also need to create an IoT device. So even that I have explained in the previous video. So you can click, uh, click on the top right corner. So now we have this IoT Hub and IoT Hub device already available. Now let's go to the steps in the GitHub. So in the steps, uh, we can first look into here. So what are the things that have to be done in the Raspberry Pi? This is the Raspberry Pi 3 board I'm using and is, it is connected wirelessly to my computer and I'm using PuTTY to connect it. So for that I have to open the Raspberry Pi. To open the Raspberry Pi, I'll use the PuTTY. So in the PuTTY I already have uh, the IP address. I know the IP address of Raspberry Pi so I'm connecting to it. I log in. So login has been done. So I will go to the folder. So this is the folder I am right now using. Uh, and then once that is done, so prerequisite I need to check. So whether uh, the Python is installed or not. So Python is already installed. So 3.7.3 .3 is there. And if it is not there, you can follow these two steps. Next thing is uh, you need to install the required packages. So to run this uh, sample, you need Azure IoT device. This is the package. So where we get the SDK. So I'll use this. I'll use sudo in front of it. So it will try to fetch the package and install it. So once that is installed, we need to copy uh, the code that I have already uh, provided in this tutorial. So right now you can see uh, the package is being downloaded and installed. So once that is installed, the next step is to save the code. So I'll open the code. This is the code. So I'll just copy from here. So for that I'll use nano and I'll give the same name simple underscore send underscore message dot file. I'll copy it and save it. Now this has been saved. So we can go back to the steps. So in this step, uh, so the code actually has, uh, so I'll try to give you a glimpse of what the code is about. So the code is about, uh, so first we'll have this main, so it will be calling this main method and in the main method we have this connection string. So this connection string has to be replaced. Uh, so whatever uh, the connection string that we get from the hub uh, device, so that we have to provide here. So right now I have a device here inside my hub. So you can go inside this device and we'll be having the primary connection string. So this is the primary connection string that you can see. We have to copy this and then modify there. So we have to replace here. And remaining things is that uh, it is trying to create a connection, create from the connection string, the client will be created, device client and it will try to connect and then after connecting it will try to send the message so using this connection string it will be sending and then it will close the client so that is what a simple uh, code that we have and it is using the async here in the python 
So now let's go to the further steps. So in the further step, uh, as we have copied and uh, this file, so we have to replace this connection string. So what I'll do is, as I mentioned here, so this is the primary connection string, I'll copy it. Once I copy it, I'll open the code in the Raspberry Pi. So again, I'll do nano. And inside that, I'll just replace whatever has been written here with my connection string. I'll paste it. Once I'll paste, I'll save it. So the next step has been done. So saving has been done. Now we have to run the code. Open a terminal on your Raspberry Pi. Then navigate to the directory. Already I'm into that uh, directory where I can see this is the simple send message dot pi is there. So I can directly run the Python code. So I'll run this Python code. So before the running this Python code, what I'll do is I'll monitor. So the data will go to IoT Hub, right? So we have to monitor in the IoT Hub that we get the data or not. So for that, we have another tool called Azure IoT Explorer. So in the Azure IoT Explorer, we have to add the connection string of the IoT Hub. It's not about IoT Hub device. So we have to go to IoT Hub. So inside IoT Hub, we need to go to Shared Access Policy. And then IoT Hub Owner Policy Name would be there. Click on that and copy the primary connection string from here. So now click paste it here and save it. So once this is saved, we can click on that device that we have. This is my device and go to telemetry. So inside telemetry, click on start. So when we click on start, so it will keep on monitoring what are the telemetry device, uh, telemetry data that is coming from uh, any devices to this IoT Hub. So now I'll try to run this Python program. So once I run this Python program, so it will try to send a message. So it is sending the message and immediately I receive this message. So you can see this message that is being sent. So again, I can run this. So it will send with a different timestamp. And you can see that message below that. So you can see here, 4.33 and 4.33, So that is a difference in time, right? So this is the complete tutorial of how to send uh, from Raspberry Pi, a simple message. We are not sending any sensor messages here. So we'll talk about those sensors messages in future. So this is just for the beginners who want to learn uh, to connect with the Azure, with the SDK. Uh, and that too in Python. So I have already created uh, this GitHub. So you can go to uh, go through this. I'll paste the links and you can do it by yourself. We hope this video has helped you understand how to send a simple message from Raspberry Pi to Azure IoT Hub. So please share your support by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Feel free to post your queries in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.